So I just want to say before we start today's video, if you're interested in getting one of these Wi-Fi adapters, definitely do check on eBay. They're a little bit hard to find sometimes because they're not the most commonplace thing in the world. But as you can see, there's a listing here that's going for a tenner. There's a bidding thing that's currently on £1.20 right now. You can definitely get these things. Don't fall for the scalpers who try to charge absurd amounts for them just because they know that people will pay it because they're, you know, these are one of the few Wi-Fi adapters that can run with completely free and open source software. Wait until you get a good deal on it. And another thing to be aware of is that only the first version of this Wi-Fi adapter works with completely Libre software. So if it comes in a modern box like this blue one, avoid it, that's the newer version, it won't work with Libre software. Instead, get the slightly older green looking box because that's the first version and it will work with completely Libre software. But with that said, let's get on to the video. Righto then. Well, as you can tell by the fact we've got the Samsung Galaxy S3 running Replicant OS in front of us, it's time to make another video about Replicant OS. Now, you may remember, one of the caveats that I pointed out about Replicant OS is with it being completely free and open source, the Wi-Fi card inside of this phone, which depends on proprietary software, does not work. And you may remember that in that video I said, to get it to work, you will need a Wi-Fi adapter which is compatible with free and open source software. Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we've got. We have a Wi-Fi USB device which is compatible with Replicant and other Libre Linux distributions. So if I just go ahead and grab it, and here it is, um, it more or less fits in frame. The TLWN722N, what a catchy product name that is. Well, this device should, in theory, give us Wi-Fi on Replicant OS. And I also have a little micro USB to USB adapter that's needed as well. So we're going to do like a little bit of an unboxing of this. I'm sure it's not going to be exciting at all, but hey, this is YouTube. That's what we do. So let's move the exciting bits out of the way and move the boring thing into frame. So let's just go ahead and crack open this box. As you can see, Windows 8 compatible. We are not going to be using it for that, let me tell you. So let's go ahead and get into this. And we got a white box inside of the box. And inside the white box, we have wasted paper. We've got a resource CD, no doubt filled with proprietary software. I look forward to throwing that in the bin later. We have a quick installation guide, cool, don't care, don't care. And here is the main event itself. As you can see, this thing is pretty large. Also, let's just see if there's anything else under there. I don't see why they do that. There's never anything under that little uh, bit of cardboard. So let's just move all that to the side and look at the device itself. Now this thing is, as you can see, it's the TLWN722N. Now if you want to get one of these for Replicant OS or any other Libre Linux distribution, make sure you get the first version of it because rather annoyingly, TP-Link have used the same product name for a completely different device. And the new product, um, which is probably what you're going to find if you look it up on Amazon or whatever, uses proprietary software. This uses completely free and open source software. Now, I don't know like what sense of size you get from this thing, but you might have noticed a slight problem. It is as big as the phone itself, and this is going to be something that we uh, get onto later. But as you can see, you've got a you know, USB bit here, you've got a big old antenna sticking off the side that you can unscrew. You might want to do that if you're using this on the go. Um, and there's a little lid on the top, you can yank off, and here's the USB bit. Now, of course, as you might notice, this is not going to fit in there. So we need this adapter. You can get these on Amazon or whatever you want. And essentially, it works kind of as you'd expect. It's quite a tight fit, but that's okay. And then we can go ahead and shove this into the phone itself. Now, I believe it goes this way. And I cannot begin to explain the absurdity of this thing. It will not even fit in shot. This thing is just huge. Um, I must admit, it's actually not bad to hold because you kind of hold the phone and the Wi-Fi card sticks out of the bottom a little bit. It's not too bad, but certainly you would not want to take this on the go. So once you've got this installed, how do you get Wi-Fi on Replicant OS? Well, you would assume it's a matter of going into the system settings and setting it up that way, but it does not work that way, unfortunately. 
The first thing that you need to do is enable root access, which can be done in the developer options. And once you've done that, you can actually use a built-in app, which comes with Replicant OS. And it's called Rep Wi-Fi. And if we go ahead and open that up real quick, as you can see, it tells us that it's using root. And we've got scan for networks, connect hidden networks, manage networks. So let's go ahead and scan for networks. And it will go ahead and scan for some networks. And as you can see, at no point is it using the built-in Android setting stuff. And it's telling us that we're already connected to a network, which is true. I've connected this to a network earlier just to see if it worked. It does. Um, so it's a, as you can see, it's a very, very imperfect solution. You've got this big bulky thing hanging off your phone. You have to use this other app. You can't just you know use the usual Android settings. Um, you can get smaller USB Wi-Fi adapters, obviously, but even then it's still going to kind of stick out a little bit. And you can't charge it while you're using Wi-Fi, as far as I'm aware. But still, this is a way to preserve your freedoms if you are really that hardcore about free and open source software. And it does work, and it works relatively well, which I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate. So we open up a web browser, which this seems to be the only one that uh, my phone likes. Every other web browser seems to crash. So that's a little bit bizarre. And for some reason, it's saying web page is not available, even though we did, in fact, connect through the Wi-Fi program. So maybe there are a little bit of, you know, a few bugs here and there. So let's go ahead and reconnect to the Internet. And it should, in theory, work. And there we go. Apparently, we are reconnected. And there we go, as you can see, we have Wi-Fi on this Replicant OS device. As you can see, we've got no SIM card in it, so we couldn't possibly be using mobile data, and this does work. And obviously a more reasonable solution, or like more reasonable use for a device like this is going to be to plug it into your Libre Linux computer, or really just any computer that you don't want to have Wi-Fi through non-free software, which is actually my main computer. If this is fast enough, I'm going to use it. Um, but with that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this slightly absurd video, um, giving a slightly absurd solution to a slightly absurd problem. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Also, just before I go, I want to quickly point out that if you get this Wi-Fi device, it's more or less guaranteed to work because it's actually one of the few Wi-Fi adapters that is known to work with Replicant, and it's even in the list of Wi-Fi devices that are known to work with Parabola. But obviously, don't just limit yourself to getting this one device, because it can be fairly hard to get a hold of at times, since obviously it's been out of production for a while. And obviously, if you can get another good deal on another one of these devices, absolutely do that instead. And they should, in theory, work with Replicant too. But with that said, I absolutely, absolutely give my recommendation to the TLWN722N. Yeah, that name doesn't get any easier to pronounce.